A little toothbrush and some toothpaste and a brush toy. Wow! Ooh, I like the color. Yay! Your girl really said self-care today. Mm, wow. I have been needing just a couple of days off where I do nothing but the things that I want to do. It just feels so good. I always forget how much just taking the time to do like a few simple things, maybe even just one little thing every day, just completely changes everything. It completely changes how you feel about the world, about yourself, about all the tasks that you have taken on that you still need to complete. Like, it's replenishing, man. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed um, me doing the things that I enjoy doing. Apart from the sprints. I did those because I knew they'd make me feel good, but I don't necessarily enjoy them. I hope it's inspired you guys to take some time for yourself. Your body will tell you when you need it. Trust me. I know it feels like another task to add to the task list that you don't even find yourself able to complete already, but this task is rewarding. It's gonna make you feel amazing. And it doesn't actually take as long as you think it's gonna take. And like doing it is the hardest part. Once you're like taking care of yourself, you're like, mm, this, this feel good. And before you know it, you feel a thousand times better and it took you what, like five minutes? Give it a try. That is all I wanted to show you for today, to be honest. Cause that's all I've done. I'm not gonna faff around. I'm not gonna, you know, uh, plump up the story for your entertainment. <laughs> I'm just telling you how it is. Sometimes it just feels good to take a couple days off. Anyway, I'm gonna go watch a movie or something. I'm gonna go chill out and do a few more things that I just wanna do. Not the things that I should do or have to do. Like I'm not, I know I should read before bed or like meditate, but no, I'm gonna watch something. There's nothing y'all can do about it. <laughs> Good morning guys, how are we doing? Please ignore the sound of Bronson chewing a bottle in the background. <laughs> Need to keep him distracted somehow. So the last two days have been so nice, just like chilling, maxing, relaxing, cold, cold, I wasn't shooting any people. Let me just stop. I did my nails and it feels so nice to have my nails done again. I feel put together. So this morning we're off to shoot a campaign. It's a fairly nice day. It's not too warm. The clouds look kind of cool. There's some cool clouds going on. Blue skies. So hopefully we can get some cool nature shots. No nature shots. I can't speak this morning. Yeah, I'm excited. We're going to take the doggo with us, I think. And my boyfriend's going to see if there's anywhere that he can do some outdoor door climbing. I'm not going to join today because I just did my nails and I don't want to destroy them. And I've also got some more stuff to shoot this week so i just need to keep them fresh and clean and climbing just completely destroys your nails so yeah i thought i'd take you along it's such beautiful scenery and it'll be bronson's first time going as well so i'm excited to see his reaction okay, guys on. the car that's just pulled up for us thank you so much. thank you feel like we're on a school trip We've set up camp. Oh my god, I thought there was a bug on me. Right, we've set up camp because this monster is relentless. Yeah, you. So now I think we'll be able to shoot safely and calmly without him trying to eat everything and anything and choke on everything and anything. Should have just bought his crate. 
Tell everyone where we are, Bob. We are at Dovestone Reservoir. It is beautiful. But we just got bitten by loads of little like flies that you can't see up in the woods. So that was fun. I don't know, we're getting really awkward. <laughs> <laughs> We've just spotted three Frenchies en route towards us. <laughs> The baby is down. He's refusing to walk. It's been a long day for him. He's knackered. But we are heading home. I've changed into my trackies for the last couple of shots because it was just it was getting a bit cold. Get a little, little bit sniffly, you know? Unfortunately, we didn't spend as much time as we would have liked here because it's fucking freezing. But I'm sure we'll be back soon. Look at that, though. Oh my god, why is its face so cute? So, we did not manage to get an Uber pet, there were none available. So we thought we'd walk to the nearest pub. We stopped for a little cider. How cute is this glass? Mmm, <laughs> that's a really nice one. So yeah, we've decided to stop at the nearest pub. We're gonna wait it out a bit for the Ubers and hopefully there'll be an Uber pet available. Also, how amazing that Uber now have an Uber pet service. Like, when I had Pierre and I used to have to catch Ubers with him, it was a bloody nightmare. We're gonna chill here, have a drink, have a little roast so that we don't have to cook when we get home because we've been out for hours and we're exhausted. The dog's exhausted. Oh, I cannot wait to eat. This is the cider if anyone's interested. It's so yummy. So I was coming on here. <laughs> As if you've never tried. I was coming on here to tip. let you know how nice of a day we've had. So remember the other day, if you watched my last vlog, I was trying to order nine vegan nuggets and it could I, I never can. And it says sauce is required, right? So I usually pick a sauce, right? As you guys can see, I've picked the sweet chili dip. Hold on. Doesn't let me order, it says field required. So then I also add the ketchup dip. Still greyed out. My boyfriend has just pressed another sweet chilli dip and it bloody works! So apparently you need three dips if you're getting nine vegan nuggets. Absolute liberty that, is all yeah. Anyway, I was just coming on here to update you guys, let you know guys know we got back home. We've just been chilling, had a bath, so nice. I'm just stretching right now. I've got all the, the gear out, all the gear no idea. And yeah, we're just watching a little something, something and relaxing and ordering Burger King, obviously. I did tell them I'm trying to get a fat ass, so. But yeah, we've had such a nice day working, but also just chilling. It's all the Frenchies, oh my God. That, oh, that was heaven, it was actual heaven. Anyway, that's us out for the night. See y'all tomorrow good afternoon gang it is pretty late on the afternoon i have been pretty much working all day shot three different looks but i changed my hair for all of them and my outfits and my jewelry so it was a bit of a long one but i'm now in my comfies i just got this t-shirt me and my boyfriend both ordered because we were like oh it looks sick um please excuse the mess that's just post shooting mess can you guys see that yeah that's the back it's so cool it's got like a big chinese dragon on it i freaking love it dude I haven't really got much to update you guys on just been shooting keeping an eye on the dog he's been extra naughty lately but don't you dare leave it baba but i am just making myself a little afternoon tea which i'm so excited about it's getting to that time of year where it is it is pretty much cozy season especially in manchester because manchester's colder than london it rains way more often so yeah it is legit cozy season 
which means I'll be having tea a lot more, especially in the afternoons, and just trying to keep warm and just, you know, have those simple little pleasures. <laughs> Let me see if I can balance you on this cup. This is probably not the best of ideas, but we're gonna do it anyway. Angles, bruh. Guys, I love this hairstyle. I can corp. I'll leave a link to the hair if you guys are looking for this color. I found mm, almost a perfect color match. Actually, I would say it's perfect. It's just when I put the product in my own hair, it goes darker. But dry to dry, it's pretty much a perfect match. But yeah, just to update you guys, I've basically been working all day. But once I'm done with this, and hopefully it will get approved, all I have to worry about is vlogging for a little bit. I don't think I've taken any more Insta jobs on, apart from like my longer term ones. Have you just pissed again? No, you have not. What is going on with you? I gotta go. I've got to have a ginger nut with my cup of tea, don't I? That's not for you. You've literally done about 70 million wees in the last one minute and a half. I don't know. I feel like ginger nuts shouldn't be dipped. Am I wrong? I feel like the whole point of them is that they're like super crunchy. That just doesn't feel right to me. Sometimes I get mad at myself. Sometimes I get mad at myself. guys i just cut my hair it'll be in the transformation video i've probably cut about two and a half inches off like quite a bit but i'm here for it it feels so good it feels so like mm, swishy i like it i like it a lot i hope you guys do too just wanted to show you some bits i'm gonna end the vlog after this but i got this big box from pandora yesterday it was international dog day yesterday I didn't get it till the evening though, and I wanted to show you guys with better light, so I waited until this morning. Wait, I've got to get Bronson out for this. He should be sleeping, but we can make an exception. Baba, come here. There's a whole box here for you. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, he's got your name on it. Excuse me. Look, he's got his name on it. That's so cute. Sit. Good boy. Wait. Wait. Bronson. Good boy. First of all, there's doggy donuts. I can't wait to watch him tuck into these. This is all for you, Bubba. Oh, that's such a cool... I'm actually going to use this box. That's really nice. Um, we have the leather-free collar. That is so cute. Not going to lie, I'm probably not going to put a pink collar on him, but that is very cute. Look, it's got a little bone charm as well. I know there's a black one, so I might have to get that for him. Oh, my God. That is so cute. Pink tennis balls with a Frenchie on it. Oh, and it squeaks. Oh my goodness. I bet you want that. Here you go. Good boy. A doggy party hat. That's so cute. A pet teaser dog brush. I might have to gift this to someone with a longer haired dog because I don't think he'll need this. And this is amazing because I can use it to put his toys in and it looks really cute. Thank you so much, Pandora. That's amazing. Bronson is obsessed with the tennis ball. <laughs> I wanted to show you some new bits that I got from Boots the other day. I needed some new makeup bits, so I thought I thought I would share with you. So, I did have a NYX brow marker. It was almost like a felt tip, which was in the color caramel. And it was like the perfect match. It was like a really red toned medium brown. But throughout the day, it would just turn green. So I'd have like green ends of my eyebrows, which wasn't great. So I decided to get the NYX micro brow pencil instead. I used to use these all the time. I think they're so good and a really uh, nice, like affordable alternative to other brands that do the similar kind of thing. So I got the shade Auburn and I got the shade Chocolate. I'm gonna see how they go. I picked up a, a pencil sharpener from number seven. I had a um, Tweezman one and I loved it, but the, the lid broke and it's just got all janky and it like basically just blunts my pencils as I sharpen them now. This was pretty much the only one I could find, so hopefully it's good. I also picked up the new NARS Laguna bronzing cream. I've seen so much about this and I thought I need a new bronzer slash contour because I use it for both because I don't really contour that heavily. So I thought I'd give this a go. I love cream bronzers and this just looks insane. And also I feel like you get quite a bit in there. 
so why does it look two-toned can you guys see that it looks two-toned like it's split in half but the top doesn't um anyway i got this in the shade laguna 03 so hopefully i like it because it was 31 pounds it's not cheap i also picked up the nyx jumbo eye pencil in white just to do like that highlighting trick that i see all over social media at the moment i just wanted to try it why did i give him the tennis ball <laughs> Um, and then I needed a new loose setting powder. I've been using the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder, which I absolutely love. And there's literally nothing, like, I've got nothing left. There's literally nothing left in it. I wanted to pick up a Huda Beauty one. I do have one of those in storage somewhere with all the rest of my makeup that I don't have here. But I thought, if I've already got it, there's no point. So I thought I would try the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder instead. First of all, the packaging is just bloody beautiful i got it in the shade banana i didn't even really test it i just kind of guessed i like it as a brightening powder so hopefully this will be good oh my god there's a cute little poofy it's so small i got the smaller size just because i don't know if i'm gonna like it or not but i'm sure i will i love everything that i've tried from fenty so far but i thought i'd just get the smaller one to give it a go first and then see how i get on and then i also picked up the little precision makeup sponge duo from fenty beauty as well because i want some smaller sponges for like my under eye and around my nose and that because i'm not very good at being precise they look so cute and very precise you can see they've got like quite sharp edges on some points so i think that will be really useful oh they're so cute i'm probably gonna lose them bronson will find it he always goes after my um my makeup sponge i just wanted to show you these bits i am about to film a little insta reel using some of these new products sorry Bubba. And I'm also going to film my makeup for my transformation video. I feel like it's been such a flop, that video, but I'm going to try and make it work somehow because I really want to share the things that I've done to look how I've looked in like my tattoo experience and stuff with you guys. So I'm going to film that. I, I've had a really good week, actually. It's been really fun. I've been super busy, but like it hasn't been draining. Like I've really enjoyed myself this week. Um, we're still on the hunt for a flat. I don't know, the prices are just insane. Everywhere that's decent, it's just, I might as well be in London, basically. Like, I'm obviously really fortunate to be in the position that I'm in um, financially um, and like with the freedom to be able to move around and stuff like that. Um, and that's all thanks to you guys. But I just like, I don't understand how young people, I don't understand how they're supposed to like survive. Like how do you pay rent? How are you ever meant to buy a house? Like I'd love to buy a house, but it's just crazy at the moment. Yeah, we're looking, there, there are places that are looking promising, but there's just nothing that, where everything ticks the boxes, which is so frustrating. I keep saying if I could bring my last flat if i could just move that flat to manchester it would be ideal but we moved i did really like the last flat we saw though so if we have to compromise and maybe that's what we're gonna have to do because it is really nice good evening guys i'm in the hallway it's saturday night we're gonna have a good night tonight we're watching the ksi sways fight we were meant to be going to karen's diner but we're gonna have to take a rain check on that because we want to watch this fight so we've ordered burger king again but yeah we've got our snacks ready you need to try these. I've never tried this before. Can you give it a go? We've got wine on tap, cordial, some other snacks that don't belong to me. Pepperami, especially. We have the projector set up and ready to go. Dog has been walked and is asleep. We're good to go. We're just waiting for the Burger King to get here and we're gonna watch the fight, baby. Missed it. This level, the only person that can do that is embarrassing. Yeah. I was like, did you do that on purpose? Oh, <laughs> I can't wait to see the meeting. Hey gang, I don't know why the quality is so bad. I'm using my laptop because I'm too lazy to get my camera, and the doggo is asleep right next to me, so I don't want to move because he's leaning on me and he's cute. So last night, I think I had one small glass of red wine. We didn't even touch the snacks. I fell asleep on the sofa at about 11. I'm PMSing hard, so I'm, I'm, you can probably tell by my face, I'm exhausted. But um, it was really fun watching the fights. There was, I think, eight fights in total. Some of them were really entertaining. A couple were just shocking. And there were some funny, funny things that went down. Let me know if you guys also watched. Like I said, we were meant to go Karen's Diner. I was actually gonna start a whole new vlog for that, but we ended up canceling because we wanted to watch the fight. Um, So we're gonna do that probably in the next vlog hopefully i will definitely be taking you guys along when we do end up going but yeah i'm just gonna round off the vlog here if you've made it this far 
are we're gonna do what emoji should we do it is pride weekend in manchester this weekend so let's do little rainbow emojis if you made it this far also wishing you guys a happy pride i hope you guys are having an amazing bank holiday weekend thank you so much for watching i love you all and i will see you guys in the next one until next time bye Mwah.